Hey guys, welcome to green, the game three. I actually did these out of order, but that's okay. They're getting casted. Bottom right in corner, we have Gretorp starting as the brown Protoss. Upper left in corner, we have Hazel Nut starting as the orange Zerg. This is on Polypoid. So I'll just, I guess I'll just upload them in order and it'll be fine. Friendly matches all together. Friendly matches all together. There's a lot of trash talk that happened between these two, but in a friendly manner. Gretorp, by the way, is a great guy to get uh, coaching from if you're looking for it. Game two, I thought Hazley Nut was going to take it, to be honest. There are multiple points there. I'm like, she's got this. She's got this. But then just had trouble getting unit cohesion in the late game where it seemed like Gretorp was just able to keep up with his macro and kind of keep those uh, keep his units kind of bulked up and engaged in multi- I liked the slow reaver walk. I thought that was a genius play. He's going to go pylon probe to harass natural expansion, also get eyes on what Hazley's up to. Hazley can go for a 12 hatch at this stage of the match. Bottom left-hand corner, we see scout initially from Gretorp finding nothing, so I'm not sure if he's going to be... Oh, she's opening up actually overpool first anyway, so I was wondering if he was going to be in position to go ahead and provide some disruption on a 12 hatchery anyway. And he's going to open up gateway first, so regardless, so I was thinking he wanted... So I like this play. So he went soft, he got the scout. When he didn't get the scout, he put down the gateway, rather than go, opting for forge. He was like, okay, I'm not going to have the opportunity to go for any sort of harassment, so let me go into more standard PVT or PVZ, and that just shows you uh, experience at this stage of things. Experience in just playing a bunch of games and having that little adjustment points. Smart. Smart! And one of the reasons I think that he, he had, you know, good analysis as a commentator. Drone actually pulling back. Drone not able to harass that hatchery at the natural expansion. So getting <laughs> hazily commenting on it like, huh? You missed that. You missed that. So getting a little bit of trash talk in with that question mark. Two Zerglings being produced. In the meantime, a Zealot is on the way. And Hazley has her scouting drone. She's going to scout the upper right-hand corner first. Overlord is also... I'm wondering if there's going to be adjustment here. So saw nothing here. Two Zerglings trying to hunt down that probe scout. I think this Zealot actually with the beeline. Is he going to stay at home base? Looks like he's staying at home base. So Nexus is up. Zealot's now making his way across. And in, where is he going? Is he going to the upper right to engage the drone? No, okay. He is going cross position. It's just the way it's showing up on the minimap. Needs to be a little bit careful. Because Zerglings, based on how Zealots kind of engage or whatnot, the Zerglings still might be able to sneak across and get a scout, and scouting information can be key. So, Heasley engaging right there, a probe and a Zealot. The drone coming up as well. Battle drone. Not a winning combination. She's already dropped her third base. Is producing some additional Zerglings to go ahead and deal with this Zealot. Or we do have a second, we do have a second Zealot, but it's holding position at the natural expansion again because of potential Zergling run bys. So this is mostly a Zealot to just harass, try to attempt a couple, a couple of additional Zerglings out. And I like what Gretorp's doing. He's like, okay, only see... T I got a probe, I got a Zealot. While they're in smaller numbers, I'm going to go ahead and engage. But when I notice that the situation, when I'm outnumbered, I'm just going to go ahead and disengage. And as I say that, he gets surrounded by six... So ignore what I'm saying. So no, okay, now he's backing off. These are not speed upgraded Zerglings. Ooh, might end up losing this Zealot with the attack movement. So should be a kill right there. Two more Zealots moving across with that probe. They want to go ahead and re-engage, try to force some more Zerglings. Natural expansion up for Gretorp. He's got his assimilator up. Does have his cybernetic score about halfway finished. Hazley, I'm wondering if this is going to be the... if she's going to move towards 973 in this match. Seeing the three Zealots backing off with the Zergling she has, that is going to provoke some more Zergling production. Decent surround right here, but it looks like one Zergling, just a coward and running... Coward Zergling! You need to be with your brother in an attacking. Uh, unfortunately, with the superior result to Zergling count, that is going to allow Gretorp to go ahead and meander in to the inside mineral only and perhaps maybe get a drone kill as it's spawning. More Zerglings are up for Hazley. He ca they can pop into that corner as well and get some favorable attack, but Hazley doing a nice job kind of entering around, trying to get a surround, but the Zerglings just not really obeying her. And having some trouble, she does have Zergling speed upgrading, which is going to delay if there was layer tech. Uh, Lair, I think she is going to go... She is moving towards more of that 973 uh, sort of build. 
the Zealots finally getting surrounded right there. There is a Forge and a Zealot blockading that gap. This is more of a natural expansion that I'm used to seeing. Citadel of Adun warping down some probes. Look, they're, they're not quite mining. So at the main, let's go ahead and get the count. So we've got 8, 9, 10, 11 right there. We've got... We do have the... So going up to 8 count. So it looks like actually take it back. Hazley is just going to continue to macro up. And is she just going to play at 3 hatch Zergling? It looks like 3 hatch Zergling at this stage. I'm looking for a Hydalus den to be planted. Currently, she's got a lot of Zerglings on the ground. I'm wondering if this is either nerves, just pulling out of, out of her build order or what. Two gateways, Citadel of a Dune down. So again, I think this is going to go for that Zealot plus one leg speed timing off of this. It's not going to be that typical timing. Also getting an a Dragoon, Zerglings flooding across the front, trying to work their way on that gateway as, and trying to tease those Zealots out. It's like, yeah, go ahead and come out. Sacrifice your lives. Dragoon's going to pop out. Should be able to at least attack those Zerglings, but that is going to cause Hazelina to go ahead and back off. Leg speed upgrading. Still no tier 2 tech. There's the fourth hatchery, but no Hydralis den behind it. So five hatcheries, no Hydra den at this stage for Hazelie. So is this going to be five hatchling? Curious. Is starting to drone up. That's usually not a thing, by the way. Okay, there's the Hydralis den. I just missed the location of it. Where is it? Dropping it as part of the Sim City at the natural expansion. But interestingly enough, I think she might have been able to take this gateway down. With the three gateways in the background, Zealots are starting to pump. Leg speed is going to be finishing as they're out. Level one weapons will be not too far behind. hastily has got, I like the evolution chamber, the hatchery, the creep colony there, doing a decent Sim City. Unfortunately, there's this gap where I believe the Zealots can just kind of walk through. And get on top of that creep colony there. But the natural expansion, pretty decent Sim City, At least creating a blockade where the Zealots just can't funnel in straight. Just hand, just without any resistance. So this is essentially four gateways with the production of Zealots. Level 1 weapons. Wow, actually two additional gateways going down. So Gretarp really looking to get a big ground force lead. And just pour the Zealot pressure on in the mid game. Hazley Overlord just moving up, seeing the two additional gateways warping him, but that's as Zealots are just on top of those Zerglings. She needs a lot of Zerglings or Hydalisks or everything in between now. Is dropping a second Creep Colony at that natural expansion. Needs another Creep Colony here. Does have the drone position to do it. The Zerglings coming back to home base. Gretorp with a sizable supply lead, <clears throat> which is to be expected off two base, six gateway, effectively. The Zealots pouring in. What is this? Looks like, ah, not getting a good selection. That's going to be nine Zealots pouring it their way in. Getting on top of that creep colony. That level one weapon's just really shredding it rapidly. Drones playing off the line to try to provide, try to provide some additional offense. The other creep colony morphing in. I do not see Zergling reinforcements making their way across. Burrow upgrading to perhaps provide some defense for the drones at the third base. And allow some reinforcements to get in. More Zealots rejoining this front. The drones getting wiped out before Burrow's in place. I actually like that Burrow play. I hadn't thought about that before the zealots right on top of these hydralisks and with that level and weapons shredding them almost instantaneously look at that just quick three rounds of attack working that evolution chamber nothing's being built these two hatcheries probably going to fold as well and grotarp going feeling the, the map control and everything else going ahead and grabbing his mineral only the hydralisks pushing back to the natural expansion hazley needs to pump a bunch of units to try to push this back and here's the thing even if she does pump a bunch of units this is so many gateways pouring out zealots I don't know that even then she's going to be able to get map control back. Really might have wanted a Lurker or something else to deal with this at this stage of things. One hatchery down. Second hatchery might get taken out as well. A couple Zealots just powering down that hatchery, ignoring the Hydralisks. And that's going to be, yeah, two hatcheries. Close! No! Oh, survives with two health. However, that's going to be at risk of getting sniped. And there is a, another full control group of Zealots that are going to be marching up there. These Hydralisks have their work cut out for them. That was a big one for Aisley, though. If she can keep this base up. And it is going to be a lot to try to defend. Probes, unfortunately, <laughs> getting ahead of themselves and micro the long, wrong location. Psystorm being upgraded in the interim. But the Zealots, they march on. There's no creep colonies, no SimCity to defend this. All they have to do is basically sneeze on that hatchery. To take it out but the hydralisk i love this surrounding the base with the hydralisk so that the zealots have to engage right there the zealots are happy to do so though it looks like and it looks like they are going to be able to wipe out all the defense forces and turn around 
Still looking for the sneeze on top of that hatchery. It looks like they're chasing down the units instead. Now turning around, backing up, and taking that hatchery down. And now Hazley locked to two bases. Gretorp at twice the supply. Zealots just wreaking havoc everywhere. Level 1 armor, armor also being upgraded. Level 2 weapons on the way with the second forge in the main. And Hazley not going to call GG right there. So it looked like... Game 2 could have gone to Hazley Nut, which again was out of order. Apologies for that. But gave him a series overall. It looks like age and experience does in fact uh, win out. But honestly, give it six months. Give it a year. I'm willing to bet Hazley Nut can give Gretorp a run for her money in the interim. But Gretorp's back because Hazley Nut, I'm going to say it, Hazley Nut is a threat out there on the ladder and in CPL and otherwise. And I think she could make a decent run in Chobo League at this stage. Not sure that she could win it all at this stage, but Gretorp showing that he's still uh, a force to be reckoned with. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, check out both of their channels. You'll see Hazley Nut uh, doing kind of just general play and trying to do improvement. I hang out there a lot. Basically, Artosis, Hazley Nut, and uh, who else am I missing? Future, oftentimes, are the places that I'm hanging out when I'm watching streams. Or really any Brood War channel past that, but those are the ones I'm regularly at. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.